Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Gil from Black Hole Comics, and today we got the player Sky Wolverine figure. Right here we got some artwork on the front. Looks pretty awesome. Got Wolverine here at the top. Variant player Wolverine. Some more poses. And again, same thing. Got the window box right here packaging. That looks pretty awesome. Really like how it looks. And I guess like a magnet right here, so it keeps it shut. And we got a nice read up right here. You go ahead and pause the video if you want to read it. I right, guess so. We're gonna go ahead and get them out of the packaging. So when you do open up the packaging, you do get the stand right here. It, um, you gotta take it out. This is my figure. Uh, Mike Diaz is letting me borrow this. It's his figure, so I'm not gonna be opening it up. Uh, and I already have one of these stands as well for my Venom. Uh, there's instructions right here on how to assemble it and how to work it and all that other stuff. Actually, it's upside down. Um, so there you go. It's right side up. There's a small, uh, there's a set of small clamps and like a big clamps. Um, here is all the screws out of the hardware to set it all up. Uh, there's a little key to tighten up the screws on the stand. I, I'm honestly not a huge fan of these. I don't know why they keep on making them. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, they suck. And off to the other side, they just, uh, here goes a little diagram of how to insert the sword into the hand. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then set of clawed hands that are fist, clawed hands that are open, um, and fist hands for either side, open hand, for both sides and it seems like that's the katana wielding hand that's only for the right side uh, and then it's just showing you how to interchange it with their little uh, peg system as well as the heads here goes wolverine out of the packaging and i gotta say he looks amazing i really like how he looks i really do like how they do these player kaya figures um how they kind of reimagine the character but with like a whole bunch of armor um this Wolverine looks really badass. So as far as accessories go, he comes with all this. He comes with two heads. They're done fairly well. I like how they look. Kind of looks like he got some like stubble right there. Five o'clock shadow going on. The uh, lips are painted really nice. The eyes are done well. And just white. And then you kind of got like a purple over the black, which is nice. It's done really well. But my fa favorite head is actually the screaming head. You can make out the teeth right there. They look good. Get close up on that. It's just crazy the detail, and you can see the gums, the tongue. As I was saying, kind of looks like you got stubble in there. I like the details. And we got this pretty nice katana here. It looks really good. Good detail on it. To look at the handle looks really good this just gets me excited for the Deadpool figure that's gonna come out because you know that he's gonna have two katanas like this actually I believe it's already out um I might actually have to try to soup that up uh, so for hands he comes with two open clawed hands open hands that are clawed Claws are done really well. They're long, they're straight, they don't warp like the Marvel Legends, but of course this is at a lot bigger scale. I believe this figure is 11 inches, 10 to 11 inches. Uh, you get fisted hands with his hands retracted. That looks nice, you can see where the claws would come out. Looks really good. I like how they have a layer of black wash over the blue. Looks really good. Then you got clawed fisted hands. Looks good. Then you got a open gestured hand. Let me see, would you be able to fit the sword? Yeah, you can fit the sword into this one slightly. It doesn't hold on well. That isn't the katana wielding hand, it's this one, but it's just seeing if it would sit in there, possibly. So when you put it in, you gotta kinda put it at an angle. Slide in, there you go. Just making it past this part, which is the hardest. After that, it's a nice snug fit. 
Like I said, I really like how this figure came out. He looks really good. Here he goes in kind of like a vanilla pose. It's just all the detail that went into this figure is amazing. The armor looks cool. The armor looks amazing. You see that it's a yellow with like a little bit of orange. Maybe you can't see it because of the light. Hold on. Okay, so the yellow with a little bit of orange with black, of course. And then you can see kind of like a brown shading right there. The blue looks really nice. It's textured. Put the light back on. And the red outline on the black for the X. Then his pouches, the silver. It's done really nice. Here goes Wolverine booty. Anybody? Who likes that looks really good the way that they changed up his costume it's so Wolverine but like I said that how they kind of make all the characters armored up it looks really nice I can't wait to check out the Magneto figure I think Mike said that he pre-ordered that one so he will let me borrow it to review it so yeah looks really good like all the Layered plating right here for the shoulder part looks really good. Those look like real screws. Got some nice silver plating over them. And you could even see the hair. Wish Marvel Legends did that. That would be nice. They used to. Toy Biz did that, but not Hasbro. Wish they would do that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get into our articulation of this guy. So you can look down can look back a little bit and that's just the head it's all on, ball, on a ball peg so you get a little bit of range out of there not a whole lot you get a ball peg and it's a, on a disc hinge kind of so it goes back and forth but what's really nice is you get the extra range with the neck and it goes from side to side back and forth that's really nice And you would think that his high collar would impede the articulation, but it actually doesn't. I think that's why they did the neck like that. So you look all the way down into his chest. And with the disc hinge plus the articulation, he can look up. Shoulders up about that high. Not quite 90 degrees. There is a rotation right there, right above the bicep. And of course, ball pig right there. Articulation for in here, the inner shoulder. It actually lowers down the shoulder. So that looks pretty good. Allows for good range. And kind of hollowed it out right here as well. So it doesn't rub. So that's for good range of motion right there, which I really do like. It's really nice. Um, like I said, bends right here at the elbow does rotate and there is back and forth movement right there just come off as you can see it is a pig it does have a crunch going forward at the top and back and then he does rotate right I mean he does move right here at the waist as well so you can get both of them going at the same time really far forward and really far back and there's no gapping issue I know in the Venom figure if he goes too far forward there is a lot of gapping but this figure there's no gapping which is really nice you can kick forward as you can hear it clicking and it's kind of off to the side it doesn't really go back because of booty too muscular it does go out to the side that much I like how all the plastic is nice and soft and pliable enough to allow for articulation. Same thing for right here, with the shoulders. So there's the thigh cut right here. Double joint and knee. You can hear them ratcheting. There's no calf swivel, no, uh, no rotation right there. Can go down, can go up. There is ankle pivot, oh yeah. And there is a toe hinge. So I do got to be honest, I really do like this figure. It, it is really nice. 
Um, the price point is at $150. I don't agree with that. Um, that's just a little much. I got my Venom for 70 bucks, so I think I'm gonna be waiting for this guy to go down a little bit. I feel like around the, between 70 and $100 is good. 150 is just, I think, too much for these play arts guy. They have improved though, like I said, on the crotch area. The articulation, um, they improved on a lot of areas, which is really nice. It's just $150 is just steep because, you know, for about $50 more, you could get a hot toy, which is higher quality than this. So that's where I'm at with this, guys. It's it's a really nice figure, just a little high um, for the price point. Uh, up to you guys if you guys want to get it. I mean, it is a really nice figure. Go ahead and click this little indentation right there for my last action figure review. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.